75% of all new products and services that are introduced to their markets by established companies in America fail. After they've done their market research, after they've test marketed it, 75% fail. If you ask the average business person on the street, Give me the name of a company that would be like the state-of-the-art practitioner of marketing science. Probably Procter & Gamble would be mentioned in the top five. P&G's success rate for new, product new products is only 15%. It can't be because they're dumb. It can't be because they don't work hard. And what we've decided is that the fundamental paradigms for how to understand customers and how to segment markets are flawed. And actually, the way we teach marketing at our school causes innovations to fail. And I wanted uh, on the next set of slides to just suggest a different way of thinking about the structure of the market. So if you're in a company and you're looking out on the market, it appears as if the market is structured by product category and by customer category. So in the auto industry, for example, they segment their markets by subcompacts, compacts, midsize, full-size, minivans, uh, SUVs, sport cars, luxury vehicles, heavy trucks, light trucks, and so on. And they can tell you exactly how big each of those segments is, who's got what share. They also segment their markets by demographics. So you've got 18 to 34-year-old females with and without children. You've got small, medium, large enterprises, industry verticals, and so on. And they can also tell you how big each of those demographic segments is. And if you're in the company looking out on the market, indeed, that's, a, that's how the market appears to be structured. But if you're in the market, that's not what the market looks like at all. If you're a customer, Stuff just happens to you. Jobs arise in your life, and you hire services or products to get the job done. And I'd like to illustrate it with just a couple of, of uh, examples here to help you see that the idea that we should focus on understanding the customer and give the customer what she needs actually contributes to the failure of new innovations. And really, the, the unit of analysis in, in coming up with great ideas are the jobs that are sitting out there needing to be done for which our product or service might get hired.